Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This video is on a new product that's been released by Radio Master. It's a dual band transmitter for your radio. Now let me just pull this up here and let you have a look at it. Uh, let's get that out of the way. It's called the Nomad. The benefits of this transmitter is it can transmit on both 2.4 gigahertz and 868 stroke 915 megahertz. Now it does this at the same time so it's it's transmitting on both of those uh, frequencies and then it checks the packets that come back so this should give you really good uh, reliability. I haven't tested it yet. I have um, bound it to the, re the receiver which I'll show you in just a moment. Now this is a one watt up to a one watt transmitter that we've got in here. Well, two transmitters actually. With this system, we should get less packet loss due to interference. The receiver, which let me just pull this up here. You can take a look at it. You can see there's four antennas on it. That's obviously because you've got uh, one working for the 2.4 and one for the 915 or 868 frequency. As you can see on the back here, we've got a standard JR Bay uh, connector. Now this, this is the uh, pre-production model, so when the version comes out that you'll be able to purchase, it will come with a nano connector so that you can put it onto a nano connector on your smaller radios. Now let's take a look at the receiver, the DBR4. Now I'm gonna try and you can see I've got it on my jig here. Let's you sort of try and have a look at it, see if it'll focus. And you can see we've got four antennas. That's obviously one for 2.4 and then one for 900 megahertz. Now, the telemetry RF power is made up obviously of two for both of the different frequency and that's up to 100 milliwatts. Now I have bound this to the radio and tested it and everything worked 100%. I put my, my passphrase on there and everything and it, it, it worked brilliantly. But as I say, I haven't actually tested it in anger. I still, all the time that I've been back in the UK, I've not managed to find somewhere to fly at the moment. Um, I've got a prospect of a place, a farmer that's going to allow me to go to their field and, and fly. So hopefully one day I'll get back to be able to actually test the equipment. But I have powered it up. I have linked it and bound it and everything. And it's, um, I'll, I'll be, quite, be quite exciting to, tr to try this, to speak, especially if you've got multipathing, if you're flying drones and you're going through abandoned buildings or whatever. It will be really interesting to test it out and see how it does. You would, would suspect that it will be, you know, sort of revolutionary that uh, uh, this this you know this technology technology has now come out, and will allow you to um, obviously have a really good link. Express LRS is is brilliant as it is, and now you can imagine that you've got it on both frequencies. The first question I asked myself when I heard about the Express LRS Gemini crossband system was would it be able to bind just to a 2.4 gigahertz or a 900 megahertz receiver? And it can. I've actually done that and I've tested it and it does. I haven't, I haven't tested it to 900 megahertz, but it definitely um, binds to just a 2.4 gigahertz receiver. So you haven't got to replace all your receivers uh, you know, by the dual band ones. Well, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And please leave any comments in the comment section. If you want to know something about it that I haven't discussed, I don't go into the minute technology, um, the technical details of these things, because that will all be available on Radio Masters website. And they did supply this system for me to review. And um, I appreciate it because it's, uh, it looks really, really interesting. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.